Hi everyone, I'm Minchin Tang, and I'm here to share a little bit about my inner source journey. And prior to that, I'd like to address my Ch the Chinese audience. 大家好，我叫邓明珍，来自加州的旧金山美国。我在Beamer差不多九月了，负责一些战略合作案。加入Beamer之前，我在花旗银行建立他们的container 现在我来告诉你们我的内源的经历。如果你从来没听过内源是什么，我用英文来告诉你们。Going back to English, I am Minchin Tang, and I joined the VMware Office of the CTO about nine months ago. And a little bit about myself, I am working on strategic collaboration programs, and prior to joining VMware, I was with Citigroup helping them develop an on-premise container management platform. And you could see here in the background a little bit about what I enjoy doing outside of work. In this case, iterative experimental baking. You can see two crostati I've made for a holiday party. One's uh, orange flavored and the other one's apple. Now, going into how I got started in my inner search journey. First off, a couple months ago, my manager informed me that I'm going to build an InterSource program at VMware. And my response was, great, what's InterSource? So a couple questions came to mind. First, who do I go talk to? Is there an existing thought leader or community? And why is VMware adopting InterSource? Next, what to think about? And where do I find this information? Thirdly, how to define success and navigate challenges. And connecting all these dots, how can I start from a novice to becoming conversant and more importantly, contribute? So I kind of akin my inner source journey more to the American adventure reality game show, The Amazing Race, where contestants traverse the globe and are presented challenges at each turn. So starting off, I met with my inner source thought leader, Mark Peake, of VMware, and I learned about, as a large-scale global enterprise company adopting InterSource, the benefits are opportunity to collaborate across multiple time zones and business units, increase efficiency and software quality, and reduce time to market. In addition, I got to learn more about the fact that we have an executive sponsor, Greg Lavender, who's the CTO of VMware, to fund a formal program for InterSource, and we get to partner with a China-based team led by Haining, Henry Zhang, to develop the program and roll out to multiple global sites. What's even better is that we also have a healthy demand for InterSource projects at VMware. And last but not least, this is how I discovered the InterSource Commons. So a couple weeks later, I joined my very first InterSource Commons and brought Mark along with me to network, learn how to fish for resources, and exchange ideas to build the program. Mark suggested I submit a merge request to update the inner source documentation in the GitLab repository. Since I haven't used source code management tools in years, I found several Udemy Git courses, and for fun, took a basic Git course offered in Spanish. So moving forward, as I'm learning by doing, I came up to speak with InterSource, and Mark, Henry, and myself had built, uh, set some goals to launch an InterSource program, an MVP, which is known as a minimum viable product. And of course, we're targeting to launch this in a couple months from now. So just to go a little deeper into what consists of this InterSource program, minimum viable product. So with a sponsor, we want to have an approved charter that educates and sets expectations with our stakeholders, what InterSource program will do, followed by governance to ensure consistent project onboarding, such as entry criteria, onboarding approval, and defining maturity levels when a project isn't production ready yet. In addition, of course, there's process. And we want to document this process to officially manage incoming project demand and baseline metrics to improve efficiency and effectiveness. And then followed up as a project adopts InterSource, make this project searchable through the company's, throughout the company using a project portal. Now, 
just kind of go a little bit deeper here of how we set those goals. We used OKRs, which are objectives and key results, which is a collaborative goal setting methodology. And you can see at the bottom here, there's a link from Andy Grove on the origin story of OKRs. And we look, focus on three areas, in particular governance, again, having a consistent approach for projects to adopt inner source, followed by the program. And with each project onboarding success, the program builds momentum for cross BU and multi time zone collaboration. And lastly, with onboarding, remember, we're launching an MVP, a minimum viable product of this program in February. So we know we can use constructive feedback from our first set of friendly projects as a pilot our MVP to improve the process experience and outcome for everyone. So where was I? That's right, I'm in my journey. So we've set the goals to define our success. And then we find out we have resource constraints. And you can probably imagine, just like in the uh, Amazing Race, it's a speed bump, right? It introduced risks to our launch in a couple months from now. So I knew we had a lot of demand for this program and we couldn't afford to wait. So what I did was I proposed to the team a solution to bootstrap the program by hosting an internal summit with inner source practitioners of the company to solidify the program components. In addition, throughout this time, i am also been meeting people from the InSource Commons through its virtual coffee buddies. And each meeting, I learned something new from InSource resources to have the opportunity to brainstorm with them on their InSource journey. And it's been fun, and I know I'm not alone in this journey. So I'll leave you with the following. InSource Commons is a great place to start there's a wealth of resources and fantastic people to talk to. Anyone can contribute to InterSource. If I can, you can too. Just remember, a project isn't just all about code. There's a team behind it, writers, designers, project managers, anyone can contribute to InterSource. And define what success looks like for your team. Start small, iterate, validate assumptions, and build a movement. Lastly, as Wishar Mukbe, an inner source coach, had explained to me what the community is like, think of a community as an extension of your brain. Tap on the inner source community, brainstorm ideas, and get other perspectives and connect. With that, I thank you.